community members are upset after someone spray painted several veteran monuments at Bicentennial Park. 12 News reporter Alex Torres Perez joins us live there with the latest on the investigation. Alex. Well, we haven't gotten an update from Fall River Police just yet, but a spokesperson and the mayor of Fall River both tell me that they are close to identifying the suspect who vandalized several monuments here at the park, including the Iwo Jima um, replica here. And you'll notice we are quite a distance from the actual monument, and that's because some of the graffiti that's spray painted on there is just too obscene to show. I was disgusted. It's a disgrace. But I feel bad, you know, that's, it's not right. Community members are upset and disappointed that someone vandalized several veteran monuments with yellow spray paint. The word losers written over this plaque, scribbles over the Iwo Jima replica, along with other obscene words and images we just can't show you. Yeah, it's not right, it's no respect. Fall River Police says it happened back on January 27th. They're now looking through surveillance footage, hopeful to find who's responsible. We're going to chase down and hopefully uh, prosecute people to the full extent of the law. Meanwhile, community members and local veterans say they hope people remember the lives these monuments represent. It means an awful lot to any military person. It doesn't have to be a Marine. Just the fact that they have memorials down there recognizing people who sacrificed their lives for this country. I mean, there's also a Gold Star Families Memorial down there, you know, and to see somebody desecrate it, it's, it's just hot. And the Fall River mayor tells me that there will be a group here tomorrow in order to clean up all of this graffiti. Reporting live in Fall River, Alex Torres Perez, 12 News.